Hey, it's your host of the Rambling Rogue Show, Rambling Rogue. And I've actually got a disclaimer for you guys before we actually start this episode. So what I actually wanted to say, um, again, before we start this episode, was that I'm coming to you guys now just to let you know that um, what you're about to watch was actually supposed to have much better audio. But yet due to some technical difficulties, I was forced to use the audio from the camera that I'm recording actually with this video right now and the camera that I recorded, of course, with the uh, actual interview. Um, if you listen to the audio only version of the podcast, which is going to be up on SoundCloud, you'll actually notice some of the interferences and some of the things that we were actually going through. So for that, I truly do apologize. Um, I promise to try harder to deliver content that's actually up to snuff and is actually of a level that's you know good enough to be put out but I just felt like personally the interview that I did get while you know as choppy as it was it's gonna be pretty good for people to be able to kind of see what the startup band looks like today and how hungry you kind of have to be to be one of those guys that's actually in a band that's starting up grinding out putting out music making music and things like that um you know even though the the interview was done in like terrible quality i personally feel like the slums were great they were all great sports about it and i really feel like you guys should still you know check out this interview so with that being said i pretty have pretty much have nothing more to say to you guys except for for that yeah i'm sorry and in the future we will make sure that content is done and put out at a much higher and better way okay or in a better way Thank you. Hey, it's your host of the Rambling Rogue Show, Rambling Rogue. And I've actually got a disclaimer for you guys before we actually start this episode. So what I actually wanted to say, um, again, before we start this episode, was that I'm coming to you guys now just to let you know that um, what you're about to watch was actually supposed to have much better audio. But... Yet due to some technical difficulties, I was forced to use the audio from the camera that I'm recording actually with this video right now and the camera that I recorded, of course, with the uh, actual interview. Um, if you listen to the audio only version of the podcast, which is going to be up on SoundCloud, you'll actually notice some of the interferences and some of the things that we were actually going through. So for that, I truly do apologize. Um... I promise to try harder to deliver content that's actually up to snuff and is actually of a level that's you know good enough to be put out but I just felt like personally the interview that I did get while you know as choppy as it was it's gonna be pretty good for people to be able to kind of see what the startup band looks like today and how hungry you kind of have to be to be one of those guys that's actually in a band that's starting up grinding out putting out music making music and things like that um you know even though the the interview was done in like terrible quality i personally feel like the slums were great they were all great sports about it and i really feel like you guys should still you know check out this interview so with that being said i pretty have pretty much have nothing more to say to you guys except for for that yeah i'm sorry and in the future we will make sure that content is done and put out at a much higher and better way okay or in a better way Bitch, I'm in the league, you a fan of a team okay. And while you hate, I be hunting for the green uh -huh. You just chase your screen, yeah, you go chase a meme what? More space for me in the still of all your plans <laughs> Hello, friendly listener, you are now tuned in to the Rambling Rogue Show You know what I'm saying? We are now here with some special guests Some very special guests that I've been trying to have on this show For a little while now um, there's so okay. Hold on, hold on. My mic is not picking me up at all right now. Hold up. You got me now. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> you are now tuned into the Rambling Rogue Show. I'm your host, Rambling Rogue, and I am now sitting down with the Slums. Hey, the Slums. No, no, no. Hold on. And let me get, let me get, let me get a little soundboard for you guys. Let me get some soundboard action for you guys. Hold we on. are the Slums. So, so let's kind of like, oh shit. Let's kind of go in order here a little bit, maybe. You know, from left to right. Uh. Introduce yourselves. You know, you can introduce yourselves to the oh, camera as well. We, got, we are unfocused as fuck over there. Focus back. There we go. We got the host, Jairus Rose. Of course, yes, I've already introduced myself. 
Now we've got Brian Rivera, Knob. I play guitar in the slums okay. and sing. I'm Randy Celaya, hey, percussion. Okay, okay. Uh, Anthony, uh, uh, bass. <laughs> bass. <laughs> <laughs> and that's so okay. You guys make up the slums. Thanks. Uh, you guys are pretty, pretty great brand band coming out of Rialto right now, and you guys are doing quite a lot. Kind of talk about what uh, you guys want to do with music. Like, what are you guys' goals? Like, what do you guys want to? What do you guys want to see with your music? What do you guys want to see you do? To make a difference. We just want to see fun. Word. Just, just play music. Be something else in, in music. You bring, know? Bringing the people together. Hey, definitely. How so? Um, kind of talk closer to the mic when you guys want to say something. You know, like expressing yourself differently and uh, now, especially nowadays in violent ways, we could do it with the creative. We could use um, loud and banging as like um, violent, but we're not really that. Uh, you know, we're not trying to come off as that, you know? I guess you. We could come use our, our inner emotions uh, into the music. It's pretty uh, cool with that. So like, you guys are trying to go on more of like a peaceful, kind of like positive and just more for everybody kind of wave, right? Just be all for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, you know, e for everyone. Stop yeah. hating <laughs> shit, man. You know, just fucking... Stop hating. Come together, you know? How do you... You guys keep come together. Like, what... So, you guys kind of have some kind of, like, uh, philosophical <laughs> views, it sounds like, guys, right? Like, well, how, do you, how do you guys mean come together? Like, how, how do you guys want people to come together? Right? Well, we want us to come together by, like... Um, I'm making peace. Well, Tony's, I mean, he had the... Oh, sorry, my bad. Like, on some real Bob Marley shit, y'all don't be really, like, having people, communities come together to make handshakes and stuff yeah, like man, that? Yeah, like, man, if we can, on, if like, we can play, doing? like, and bring people just together to listen to our music, like, a whole community of different people. And just a like, good time. We want to give a good time. Definitely, though, you know, just, you know, bonding. We we'll hope our music can do vibes, that. Great vibes, you know? So, Roots like... Music. And if we can big along the way, yeah. that's just a plus, but... It's just fun. If you get big along the way, it's just a plus. Yeah. Y'all hear that? That's humble. That's humble as hell. Y'all hear that? That so you guys are so humble and you guys are making music. Why are we called the slums? Why is this very humble group that wants to piece everyone together? Shoot. Excuse bless, bless. me. Sick on the podcast. Sorry about that. Why are we called the slums? This very positive. Why are we called the slums? I was, I was any there. reason at all? <laughs> yeah, is there any reason? Does it have to be a reason? Well, it not be... really. It's just a name, but it's just we can no, also it's just a name. get into a sentimental, you know, meaning like. Man, we're uh, broke. We, yeah, we're broke as fuck. Yeah, today. it's real shit. Don't say it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, it's all a struggle. We're in the hustle together, man. As everyone. And everybody in starts off, you know, not at the worst, you know. We got to build up to get where you really want to be. So basically, we, we, we want to call ourselves where we're at, right now, which is the slum. Call ourselves. So, okay. That's a very interesting idea. So, like, when you level up, though, will you guys change it to a new name? Yeah. And no, I, you no, don't no, have to think about it now, no, but I was just no, saying. We won't change it now, man. It'll no. always be our, our beginnings. Yeah, we're so, not going to oh, change. You want to remind people of where y'all came from, even with the name. Damn. Yeah. That, like, that's... That's a, I mean, like not beginnings. to get too deep, but that's kind of definitely show a change of <laughs> our music. Maybe that could show how we evolved and leveled yeah, up. Our, our music could definitely. You no, know, but we're still the slums always. Will be, slums. You know, so. that's, damn, you guys are really sticking to your roots. Like you see a lot of bands out here right now. I think we're talking about a shit. There's like a little bit of feedback. Fuck. The All right, we're back. We are back with the slums. It's gonna be a little bit of a choppy edit there, but fuck it, we're gonna we're gonna continue, and we're gonna get greens on this bowl because we are definitely smoking with the slums. Oh, okay. Technical difference. We are the slums definitely are 420 different. friendly. If you ever come to our show, just know we appreciate you to smoke. <laughs> if you're smoking, then we're choking. Do you guys think that uh, <laughs> weed has any effect on how people take in your music? Nah. Do you think that if you're high, you get it better, or you could just be sober, or whatever? Or what was up? Honestly, I like to play sober. I feel like I gave off a better performance. Just Do you think that when someone's listened to it, though? It's uh, the same. <laughs> I don't know. That's a tough um, maybe definitely. Uh, it could. I, I'd, I'd like to make change the perspective, both oh, sober oh, and no. maybe intoxicated with substances. <laughs> but, but like you know. Um, no, like you know, hopefully they they dig it either way, you know. If they don't, then they don't. But hey, 
We're just making music how we feel. That's what we like. I feel that. So are you, Anthony? Yeah. yeah. Are you intoxicated when you make music? Uh, Ever. Nah. Brian? Yeah, I'm on. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> he said to me, like, man. yeah. No, no. This well, guy, this guy's smoking, man. Yeah. Most always, often than not, we're always faded at practice <laughs> and at performance. Marijuana is, is, is Loki essential to creative processes. It's a daily activity we, mm. we conduct in. It's and definitely okay to trip out. And Proof. in fact, it's uh, most definitely our music is made during, under the influence of marijuana. But for the kids, though, right? <laughs> Like uh, what? Uh, right? Like no, don't don't smoke weed. Hey, the kids don't gotta know. For the kids, you're don't lucky. Don't smoke weed, kids. Hey, man. A message for the kids: You're lucky. You have it easy. For right, right now, with the legalization. Mm. Oh. Well, I'm talking kids like five and under, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> they, they won't know until they're older. <laughs> That's facts. They won't actually be able to experience that shit until they're 16. And everybody is able to get weed like that. Yeah, Before yeah, yeah. it was a struggle. They're not going to know the weed. Like, it was a struggle, but I feel like strong. now it's they're more serious. They're not going to know the laws, weed, man. man. That's true. Like, with, it, it if you're caught more, with man. alcohol, you're going to get so much shit, man, that you're going to smell like it, all right? And now, with yeah. weed... They 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 hassle with you, but if you got like a couple grams on you, they squash it, throw it Burn away, it maybe even keep it. Really, honestly, yeah, maybe even keep it, but they will just slap you on the wrist. It's New California. Yeah. yeah um, yeah. to kind of just ring it back to you guys' music though, like. Uh, True. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> when did you guys start playing together though? Because it's like 2018 now, so we in March. When did y'all start playing together? Well, uh, and well, we I, were we were, we got a year in February, so that marked the year. With yeah. all three of us, with Randy. Yeah, so I joined in February, so they were playing before without me. So it's been a while then. But it was mainly just Anthony and I. It's been like three years since this has been more like... So three years of how how often would you guys make music or try to do music or... You guys still met up for practice? Yeah, right? we would still we meet up just the two of us, the bassist and the guitarist. There, there was, yeah. There's a lot of previous made songs that are scrapped and just, we're done with those. <laughs> Definitely evolved, right? evolved. Different sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, happy in these, time, this too. short time and you guys have so much more to do in the future you guys oh, recognize yeah, that yeah, yeah. 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 we're so young yeah, yeah. a lot of bands that we, we play would say that we have course. so much potential with how young we're starting off right now yeah, the, the other people the other bands we play with they're like 20 maybe 20 yeah all, all these people are all up in their 20s and you know what i'm saying every day we get closer to that exact same thing so it's like you got to really grind hard right now to make sure that you could be heard and and when you're in your 20s you don't even have to give a fuck yeah, exactly but um it's like crazy that like you guys have been kind of doing this for as long as you've been doing it and you recognize how far you got to go because a lot of millennials right now we're, we're all <laughs> fucked up on this thing of time Definitely. like people don't want to put in the time for anything Dude, uh, we got so much time yes exactly what i'm saying bro we have so much time with little time though you gotta think about mm. that 24 hours in a day. Yeah, exactly. It's not much. And 12 of them are fucking daylight. 12 of them are not. And then time goes slow, dude. Like, just, like, you gotta focus. We got all the stuff aside from the band, you know? Like, yeah, personal, personal career. Life. Yeah. So that's. Let's talk about that. Like, what? We got like, yeah. I would work, school. We got women. Right. We got women as well. The slums Regular are taken. Regular man shit, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> all three of the slums are taken. Damn. <laughs> Message to the ladies out there. <laughs> the time is divided. Yeah, so we got a lot hey, of on our, we got a lot kill of kill all y'all thirsty little <laughs> groupies. Hey, we don't want to see no well, well, not no groupies at the shows, but hey man, just tasteful groupies that are not gonna do anything out of pocket. Just appreciate because these are all taken men, the slums. Come they, back, they, just they appreciate them. for the music. No, no, nothing. The music only, groupies. Not, not, music. Only. Nothing else. Nothing physical. And to smoke if you can. And to smoke if you can. Vibes, definitely. Vibes. Do not be a bad person at the slum show. You got to come with good vibes. Yes, Don't be yes. provocative. Oh, exactly. Hey, but exactly. we're trying to have a good time. So what, what, what does that say, man? You mm. know, sometimes just have a journey, man. Have a journey. <laughs> Yo, so you guys are in the process of making your first project. Oh, definitely. What are we calling yeah. it? Is it an album? Is it an EP? Is was, it a, what are, you know, for something? for a sec, we were thinking about making just an EP first, but uh -huh. then like as we started progressing with more and more songs, we were thinking of just making an album. Get that shit on there, yeah. Yeah, might it, as well just start big. That's I feel that. It is so shit. let me ask you this question, kind of what Randy was kind of touching on a little bit earlier. It's like, was more stuff so starting to sound like, hey, we could actually put that on the album. Like, hey, we, like, we're actually proud of this. More stuff was yeah, starting to sound Yeah, because we're trying to gain like a, I don't want to say a certain sound, but 
we're like, finding ourselves. Yeah, we're finding us, ourselves and like how we want our music to sound. We're getting happy with mm. what we're making. It's, okay. Instead of just slapping whatever we made. You guys actually like take the time to edit it. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, oh, man, a lot of times. Yeah. Sometimes it's, you know, it's like it gets a little like aggressive. We're starting to never finish that we started. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of button heads. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I caught some of that. I was actually just so for the listener and the viewer, if you're watching this, uh we're in a garage right now and you can't really see it, but from the outside I was able to see these guys actually practice a little bit and I caught a little bit of you guys <laughs> button heads like literally talking about a song like mid making it and like it's that fuck. I'm so sorry, listener. That that was bad. Jeez. Um I'm gonna try to edit all this out. Most I can. But yeah, it's that kind of synergy that they got. And I can see it already, man. You guys are like trying to make the best product mm -hmm. possible. And and I feel that shit. And I think people that listen to your music are gonna feel that shit. So it's like back to that album. And we're back. A lot of technical difficulties. But that's what happens here on the Rambling Rogue Show. We ramble, we have technical difficulties, we have dabs, we smoke. And we stay baked. So, okay. Album talk. Let's oh, get yeah, back into right. it. Let's, let's, let's re reposition back into it. This guy's taking a nice dab. He's getting it. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you guys about your... Because I kind of was getting into it, but just more on that music making process. So, yeah, you guys butt heads, but... What's it like when you have that aha moment? Like, oh, fuck. Oh, this is that. It's fucking... Like, yeah, like... What's that like? It's beautiful. It's just like it's, it's like ecstasy. ecstasy. It's like it's ecstasy. ejaculation, man. I mean, we've never like done that ecstasy. It's a unique feeling, dude. Is like you yeah. feel the energy. Like you just feel you. Yeah, the yeah, everyone coming hey, together. That was, <laughs> 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 that was in your speech, bro. <laughs> that dad got me. No, no, it's just like it's a unique like experience, dude. Like it's like only few people can experience that feeling of like. Creating music, unity, you're just having that energy, you're feeling it with everyone. Unity, you know. Unity. You're all yeah, yeah. Music and you just so feel you, it right you guys kind of feel like one. Because again, I kind of remarked this off camera, and I think that the people on watching right now will be able to see it. You guys kind of flow like a unit. You guys, when you're in one frame together, you don't look like you're trying to fight for the screen or anything like that. You guys look like you fit all like a puzzle piece. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just. We have Perfectly. No, we have no front man. Synergy. No front man. We are, we are all the front man. We are, we are all the... I think that's a really great dynamic for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it kind of gets into this, like, kind of thing where people want, might want to ask, like, okay, you know, if you guys kind of start popping a little bit, what if people just start preferring one person? What would you guys do? Like, man, that's, that's not just, how we roll. We're, we'll, we'll make it straight. We'll, we'll, we'll tell them how it is. We know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's not true. Man, well, that's just how they feel, man. But yeah, that's, that's not the way it's going to be. That's like, their there interpretation, no... that's their interpretation. Mm -hmm. Just like how they interpret our music. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, no ego, I sense. No mm -hmm. ego with you guys, you know? It's just like, music first. Yeah. I fuck with that, you that's know? Tight. Togetherness. <laughs> it's like, a lot of people have their ego into this, this whole thing. And like, that works for some people. It, yeah, it, works, it works. But it's like... For you guys, you guys are going down a different path, and that's it's it's gonna be a again different. It's gonna be probably harder. You know what I'm saying? Being as humble as you guys are, and as like yeah. down to earth as you guys are, because this music shit they say it's like cutthroat. Oh yeah, man. You, know? you gotta be rough. You gotta be points. rough, and you gotta be like also kind of like an asshole. Yeah. Damn here, like trying to get what you want and trying to make the creative vision happen, but that's kind of necessary. You guys ready for that shit? It's like, gonna be something I don't know different from it. our personality. Definitely, but. we've already experienced it. Mm. Yeah, you know, but like you know, we're still trying to um, learn together with music. But we already got together playing together. We we're still learning how we are. But you know, we're homies at the end of the day, brothers. But I like that still, it's man. I like that it's okay that there's no front man, and that like you guys all have this kind of understanding. Is that something you guys talk about a lot? No, we don't conversate about it a lot. But yeah. it's, just it's just like unspoken. It just unspoken. yeah, it's like a like a sort of communication. Unspoken mm -hmm. truth. Yeah, str the strange truth. <laughs> oh, that's the song we got coming up. That was a little Easter egg, a little inside joke. <laughs> hey, if you're listening to this, strange truth. Watch that. Watch it come up. Uh oh. So okay, catching a certain vibe with this 
record, this album, this whatever. So, this album, let's say. What kind of vibe are we going for, guys? So I kind of would like to say kind of rock and rollish in a bit, in a sense. That makes sense. <laughs> Wait, is the is this shit picking it up? Good, man. Other way. I'm sorry. Down here, down here, down here, down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your oh, oh you just, holy fuck! You just holy fuck! What did he do? You touched the fuck out of it. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm good though. He touched the nail. <laughs> You kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it was tipping over? Uh, yeah, it's because yeah, it's kind of broken. Break down over there. I don't, know, I don't think you heard that. Yeah. Be careful. Be careful. It's all over that. Oh my god. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, hold on, let me see if it's right here too. What kind of vibe are we going for? Okay, uh, uh, fuck, fuck, I don't know what to do, bro, to be honest with you guys. Man, we've only been talking for 16 minutes, it feels like fucking long ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but goddamn, dude. Oh, shit, let me cut this shit off again. Maybe. Okay, so we're back <laughs> one more time to try this. Incredible. <laughs> technical difficulties the whole time but the slums are still here the great sports and we've been talking about their album the last thing i asked them about was their vibe and the kind of vibe they're trying kind of kind of trying to catch rock and roll was the answer that i got yeah, yeah, pretty rock and roll. Brown over here. <laughs> but it's like how are y'all these guys are fucking around over here high as fuck <laughs> ask serious questions oh fuck it let's get a high question now uh so like as much as you guys smoke, how much do you think you spend on weed right now in, t like, in like a month? Man, we've definitely different amounts since uh, he Fuck. is not really an herbs man. And we tend to be... Uh, so it's love for y'all, and this guy's buying the expensive shit because he's uh, smoking wax. I don't know, it might definitely... I think I don't know, it just might depend on how you smoke, you know? Maybe 300. Three hundred a month. A month? a month, yeah. All together? That is what it no. takes. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's what it takes. Just maybe a bill or something. That's what it. Oh, oh, actually, I don't know. No, I haven't been buying bud recently. It gets freely. Hey, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'll yeah, mark man. that. Yeah, I'll mark that next month. This is about to. I'm about to get like you know. It's gonna be my birthday. It's gonna be Nas' birthday as well. We're both turning the double ocho. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So all the slums are eighteen. Yeah, we're yeah, yeah. We're all old enough. Just just play at bar. Man, we don't have to play out of a bar though. Dude, nah. If we're hey, we'll we work up to it. One day. Yeah, I'd like yeah, to play at a whiskey bar. bar. If you guys have bar. good enough music, you guys will be asked to play fucking anywhere, man. Yeah. Honestly, as soon as your music starts picking up, anybody will fuck but people will be dying to fucking have you guys in their place. That's Real shit. Like, okay, so kinda <laughs> Again, going back to the album. Oh yeah, right, right. right. <laughs> you settled on a name. Oh no, no, we've been talking about it a lot. <laughs> we've, we've, we've been discussing about what to call it. Me and Anthony, we're thinking of something with Renaissance. We're not sure. But yeah, but, I don't know. Honestly, we haven't thought of no name. No album or either. Yeah, no art either. But yeah, we want to work on that soon. Music. Yeah, Just so the, far. Yeah. And what song should be in? And we're, we're, we're focusing on recording the music. We put out the ideas in YouTube. Like, if we're coming out mm -hmm. with an album, we want to hit them with that clear quality sound, you know? I feel it. We want to have it available on Spotify and Apple Music and whatnot. Yeah. That's a goal. Yeah, yeah, That's a goal, so just reach it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Speak it into existence, man. Yeah. Yeah, so, I'm, right now we're just trying. Just trying. Trying now, we're doing now. We're, we're getting there, we're building. True, we are doing, man. Yeah, we are doing. I fucked with it, man. You guys are like. Hey, again, that like transition level. We're all there, all trying to grind, all trying to make some shit, all trying to. Oh, hungry! Everybody's fucking. <laughs> Stone. 
Hey man, can, can, can we get some of you guys' music in the podcast? Uh, sure, sure, you guys' yeah. music in the podcast? Yeah, yeah. Just, just bump some, you know? Yeah, let me know. Yeah. Uh, I would volume. love that. Let me know if volume listen. is good enough. Why not? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Alright, well, we'll get it going, we'll get it going. These are just a couple songs. Hey. Like, we record off, of, for we record off of our phone. So, this would be considered like a demo. Garage demo. Yeah, garage These are demo. just garage takes. Just to kind of get like a feel of how everything would be put together. You know, it's kind of yeah, like... They're not studio takes yet. Mm. So, uh, let's get one. So, don't, don't be expecting nothing crazy, though. Know. What the heck? Expect the slums. <laughs> So, mm. what is it? Is this what, what's the move on? Is it too loud? Can you still hear me? That's good. It's cool. Yeah. Some more questions, bro. Hit us with some more questions. So that'll be hitting y'all in the background. What's this called? It's got a name? Yeah. It's not right. It's not right by the slums, y'all. Yeah. It's not right. It's not right by the slums, y'all. Yeah. So um, I don't really have too much more to ask y'all. I really just wanted to have this music playing. But um, I kind of wanted to just maybe go around once. What are you guys' individual goals, kind of, for music? And what, what do you want to see each with your own music? Out of you? Whoever wants to start. start. Alright, man. Repeat <laughs> right. the question. Repeat the question. What's your goal with music? Like, what do you want to? What do you Our personally individual. want to see do? See your music do, or what do you want to see yourself do with your music, or how far you do you want to take it, or like? I see. I see. Well, I would just like to have music. Music is timeless, you know. Like I like to show my grand grand grandchildren what the songs were. You know what I mean? So don't not making something that kind of. Is only for right now and yeah. making shit that Something yeah timeless. So that timeless, yeah. 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 So that'd be good for a long time. Like the Beatles. I mean, I'm not saying we're gonna be like the Beatles, cause man, that's, that, that's crazy. But that's the goal. Yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah. And yeah. Definitely want to make an impact and make people remember us by our music. And just like inspiration is what just give people inspiration with. Music yeah. and yeah, making music, yeah. like how we get inspired by music. Mm -hmm. Like you know, the greats did it for us. We want to do it for other people. You know Have somebody bring you up. I mean, to I mean, yeah, that's kind of. A, but nah, you should be. Full of ego, you know what I'm saying? You guys should have that. Well, at least with that part, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, fuck, yeah. Having somebody years later just say, hey, I made this album and I was listening to the slums, stoned as fuck, and I just thought of this shit and, then, and it became this. You know, that, that must be like a feeling that, you know, like the greats just cherish. You know what I'm saying? That's gold. Yeah, that's, I fuck with that. So, Brian, what, what, what do you want to do more? Like, individually, where do you, See your music going. How do you want it? I just want it to be something like different, like a video, you know, kind of anything else um, in a way. But like, besides that kind of old, old uh, feel of the 60s. And we do get comments on that. that. Yeah. You know, so, like the rawness. Like we want to be unique, but we also want to have a feel from, from, of what we like. Yeah, of the past, man. The great. Having your influences on your sleeves. Yeah, true. But we also want to be unique and not, not, not the same sound as uh, like other people that are out there right now. Trying to reinvent with what you are. Right. Yeah. We want to have a different guy. sound. We want to have a different guitar. sound. Oh yeah, man. I heard people were saying that guitar is dying, man. Yeah, man. My goal is to bring it back. That's part. That's one of my goals. Say that into the mic a little bit more. My goal is to bring the guitar back. Wow. You heard it here first on the Rambling Rogue Show, y'all. His declaration is to bring the guitar back. Anthony, you got... Any real big goals that's right now for y'all? <laughs> yeah, 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 man. No, definitely. Yeah. It's a little rock and roll. I, I can definitely some. see it dying. Uh, rock and roll is dying. Yeah. So that'd be cool. Yeah, man. That like, was, yeah, it's just sad. Sad. <laughs> rock and roll is getting pretty tough to get popular with. You know what I mean? Hey. But yeah, that, that's why we don't do it. It's easy. Not, not, that's why we don't do it for the fame or nothing like that. We do it for the fun and the world and the journey. And then, just like how we said. The, Getting famous plus. It's all. You know what I mean? So it's like that genuine shit. Yeah. I respect it. I respect it, and I think that anybody listening will respect that as well. Just staying true to ourselves, playing what we like, hoping you like it. I wanted to ask about that. So on you guys' IG bio, it says no genre. No genre. Play what we like. Yeah, man. 
It's whatever, we, it's whatever the listener interprets. It's very literal, man. It's a, we just play whatever we like. <laughs> if we like something and we all like it, then we play it and we stick to it. Yeah, to see that final product again. I feel that that need for good product. And then well, once again, no genre like we can't define what, what, what our sound is like. The yeah, no listener idea. has to do that because mm. we are the music. <laughs> Quote from. Uh, what is it? Ray Manzarek. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know he said that. Well, that out. You too deep into that. He said, We are the music. To see okay. who we are. Damn. Really, these gems are really coming out. This is one of those early interviews that you'll get, like, those real, you know, uncut type, you know, things. And it, it's so meta that we're bringing it up, but that's yeah. the slums for you guys, you know? That's how they come. Um, Pretty much. I think, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I had to say and uh, all I wanted to ask. Let me see. Yeah? Um, is there anything else you guys want to say to anybody watching, anybody listening? Anything else you guys want to broadcast to the world? Any vibes you want to put out? Go ahead, man. Get ready for the album, because, I mean, that's probably coming out of this year. Maybe, Wait, maybe. did I ask about the name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have no name currently, no album cover. Mm -hmm. well, we're it's all about it. It's yeah. all under the works. Everything is under all about the works. The Hope to release this soon. Hey, 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 Zen, man. Zen. 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 Man, just Zen. I, I, I'm gonna, okay, if I remember, I'm gonna have someone, I, I will remember this, I'm gonna make that a sound drop. Because I haven't even been playing my fucking soundboard, but uh, this has been The Slums. Yeah. Hey. This shit this whole time because honestly it would have made it way better. But uh, let me let me get another round of applause. Great fucking interview. And I gotta say, uh, honestly, I can see great things coming out of these guys, but only if you stick to it. Because and I'm gonna be real with you, just cut through all the bullshit. It's just like we are birthing kids. You are. But at the same time, you could die out yourself. So that youth that, that you have right now, it's not just your skin, it's not just your age right now, it's inside. It's literally a thing that you can manifest and make so that when you're 30 years old, it's still there and you have that same drive and where you're like, oh shit, does that sound good to you? You're still doing the same thing. So it's like, don't let it die. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people do. And then they just go and become 30. Yeah, and give up. Man. And die. Yeah, I like yeah. that word, manifest. Yeah, manifest, manifest man. That's like... Touch my chest. <laughs> chest. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, it's the Rambling Rogue Show. And I think we're gonna end it on that one. Yeah, I love the soundboard. Yeah, the, the, the soundboard was supposed to be way better, but uh. What? <laughs> again, this thing is, is, is a bit. Hey, so you didn't mess up on the last part then? No. It, it, it might have been, been my. It's just, I, mean, I think it it's the interference. The... I mean, it was giving me a little bit of feedback, but it wasn't like like that. Fucking, I gotta stop this shit. Jesus Christ, that's so bad. It wasn't that bad. So maybe, maybe it was this. Yeah, no, no, no. It's the not the earphones. It's the pink of that. The split. You want to? You gotta do the song. Record the jam, man. You gotta record it, do the song. Oh yeah, yeah. I could do that. I could. Oh, one I can move that shit over here. You gonna do this song? No fucking definitely, man. No lyrics to the song, but. Well, sort of. I can sing Just jam out, yeah. I'll, I'll just film that. But just get angles, right? Yeah. Get angles, yeah. get up close to the drums, get the yeah. rock band angles. Watch what I'm about to do. Undo this. Hey, thanks for the great interview, guys. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Oh, fuck. This shit is still rolling. Gonna hear? You get it. There's gonna be like a lot of B roll and shit. So, hey, the video version of this is gonna be way better. You're lucky.